Each year, we welcome thousands of nonprofits to the Nonprofit Technology Conference. This year, the 12 NTC will be held in San Francisco on April 3rd through the 5th. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC. Or if you can't join us in person, find out how you can still connect, learn, and change the world online at the NTC Online. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC forward slash online. We've put together a series of video podcasts featuring just a few of more than 100 sessions at the event. Today, we're talking to Joanna Miles, online organizer at Food and Water Watch, who will be leading the session, Extreme Analytics. Tell us about yourself. I'm Jo Miles. I'm an online organizer at Food and Water Watch, and I do a whole lot of different online activities from working with our field organizers to send out emails to trying to get people to take action and donate on our website. So I use Google Analytics a lot um, to understand how people are behaving on our site and whether they're completing the things that we want them to complete. What's your session about? My session is about Google Analytics. It's a little bit more of an advanced session, so it's really best for people who have some little bit of experience with Google Analytics, have gone in, are familiar with how the tool basically works, but know that they're not using it to its full potential, which I think is true of a lot of nonprofits. So I'm going to talk about how to make sure that you're tracking everything that you need to be tracking, because by default, you won't necessarily have tracking on all the kinds of activities that you want on your website. Um, and then how to use the tool more to its full potential, how to understand the you know, best ways to segment your data, how to take advantage of a lot of the features that Google Analytics gives you. And then I'm going to talk about some of the newly released features because there are some exciting things that they've just come out with. Site visits are easy to track, but do they matter? They're not as important as you would think they are. Those are usually the first things that someone shows if they're putting together a report from Google Analytics, but I find them to be among the less useful things that you get out of it. Um, I still see a lot of like annual reports that talk about number of website visits, and maybe that's something that your donors are interested in. But aside from making, you know, following the trends in these things is important. If your number of visits is going way down from month to month, that's a sign of a problem. Um, but in, in the big picture, the number of visits that you're getting is not as important as whether those people are coming in and reading your content and engaging with you in the way that you want them to and the way that they want to engage with you. How do you set a goal for your website? So there are three um, very practical goals that I feel like apply to most nonprofits, which would be they want more donations, you want more people taking advocacy actions, and you want people signing up to your email list. Um, there may be secondary goals about educating people, engaging people, um, but the first step is always to think about what specific actions on your website mean that someone is completing that goal. So if, you're, if you want to engage people, um, which is a pretty common one, it might be getting them to follow a link to your Facebook or Twitter feed. Uh, it might be um, reading a certain kind of content or clicking play on a video that you have. So thinking about what are, what are the specific things that you want them to do and then what sort of bucket do they fall into? And are you tracking those things? You may not be. Things like dynamic interactions on the site, things like um, links to Facebook are not necessarily tracked by default. Can you track goals and analytics? One of the most basic things that I'm going to talk about is setting up goals so that you can see very easily what percent of people are converting on particular actions that are important to you. Um, and then once you have those goals set up, you can look at things like what traffic source did someone come from to complete that goal? Did they come from Facebook? Did they come from a news site? Did they type in a search term? Were they looking for you? Were they looking for a particular issue that you're working on? So these are all insights that you can get. And then you can see at what rates those people are converting and try to improve the conversion process. If you see that there's a lower conversion rate somewhere um, than what you would expect it to be, that gives you insight to improve your systems. What's one of the coolest things that you'll cover? One thing that's a little bit more technical um, that a lot of nonprofits don't have set up is tracking between their main website and their donation forms uh, because those are usually on different domains. You have your website, uh, it's foodandwaterwatch.org, for example, and then you have your donation form that's on salsa.org or on convio.net. Um, and Google Analytics gets confused when you try to track people that are moving between those two sites unless you have 
some special tracking set up. So I'm going to talk, for example, about how you set it up so you can make sure that you know where someone's originally coming from when they enter your site and go through your site to your donation form and then complete a donation and you're able to follow them through that whole process, which is so key to understanding donation conversions. <laughs> <laughs>